Hello Cardano enthusiasts, my name is John. Do you use a hardware wallet to store your Cardano ADA? Perhaps you use Ledger's products, either the Nano S or the Nano X, or maybe use the Trezor Model T. Regardless of which one you use, you might be wondering, how can I delegate my ADA to a stake pool? Well today, you're going to find out. Welcome to another ADA for Profit video. Please note that we are not financial advisors. Always do your own research before making any investments. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can use your hardware wallet, whether it's a Ledger Nano S, a Ledger Nano X, or the Trezor Model T. Now, if you own one of those hardware wallets, you can go to the description and there's a timestamp where you can jump ahead to your specific wallet. But what we'll be doing is seeing how you can go to the website adalite.io and use that interface to delegate your stake to a stake pool. So let's get started. First, we'll be discussing the Trezor Model T. It's relatively simple to delegate your ADA, so I'm going to share my screen at this time. To delegate to a stake pool is relatively simple. Just navigate to adalite.io, continue, and when you see this screen, click access your Cardano wallet using the Trezor T. Unlock with Trezor, and then go ahead and plug in your device. Tap the screen to connect, and then enter your PIN. After it's verified, the site wants to read your public key, so allow it by clicking Allow Once for this session, then export the keys, and then it will have you enter your passphrase. Mine are blank, so I'll just click Enter. And again, it will ask for that passphrase a second time, so enter your passphrase, mine are blank, and click Enter. And after that step, the site will once again need to access your public key. So allow it one more time. Export the public keys. You can see we have 10 ADA in this wallet on our Trezor device. So click the stake pull tab. Open up a new tab and navigate to adaforprofit.com and scroll to the bottom. Copy the pool ID which also will be in the description. Go back to Adalite, and once you've pasted the pool ID in, you'll see that it imports the data about that pool. Note that when it comes to the fees, it costs two ADA to stake to a stake pool, and there's a small transaction fee also. Click Delegate, confirm the transaction, and again, allow Adalite to read your public keys and now you need to follow instructions on the Trezor device. So confirm, then swipe. It shows you the pool address. Click OK. It gives you details about the transaction. So swipe. It tells you it's going to the main net. Hold to confirm. And the transaction is submitted and it's syncing the wallet to adalite.io. We started with 10, now we have nearly eight. There's the two ADA staking fee plus the small transaction fee. And you see at the bottom left, it's delegated to Juno. Congratulations, you've just used your Trezor Model T to delegate to a stake pool. But what if you have the Ledger Model S? Well, again, I'm gonna share my screen right now. If you have your ADA on your Ledger Nano S device, how do you delegate to a stake pool? It's very simple. First, connect your device. Navigate to adalite.io. Continue to adalite. On your device, enter your PIN. Select the app Cardano ADA and press both buttons.
Now click to access your Cardano wallet using Ledger Nano S. Click Unlock with Ledger. It wants to load the data, so press both buttons on your device to export the key and follow the prompts. Now it's sending your wallet information to Adalite. Follow the device prompts once again. And that does it. And now you see you have 25 ADA in your wallet and we're going to stake those 25. So click the tab that says staking and we want to paste in the ADA for profit pool ID. So go to the site, ADA for profit, scroll down to the bottom and copy the pool ID. You can find that ID in the description at the bottom of the video as well. Go back to Adalite, paste in the pool ID, and you'll see that stake pool details have been pulled in. And again, note that the fee is two ADA as a deposit, as well as a small transaction fee. After we delegate, we're gonna have all 25 less the two ADA less the transaction fees. Click Delegate, confirm the transaction, and now we have to go back to the Ledger device and follow the prompts. It gives you details like the transaction fee, what epoch that you're in, confirm the transaction, register the staking fee, and confirm the registration. Press both buttons to delegate the stake to the pool and confirm. Adalite is syncing to the wallet. It reloads the wallet info and now you can see 22.8 ADA are delegated to ADA for profit Juno pool. Very good, now we can take our ledger. Congratulations, you've just used your Ledger Nano S to delegate to a stake pool. Now the process is very similar with the Ledger Nano X. So again, I'm going to share my screen. If you have the Ledger Nano X and you want to delegate your ADA to a stake pool, how do you do it? Well, this is a simple process and I'll walk you through it. Connect your device with the USB cable and use both buttons and follow the prompts. First, enter your passcode. After you've entered your passcode, navigate to adalite.io. Continue to Adalite. Access your Cardano wallet using the hardware wallet, Ledger Nano X. Click Unlock with Ledger. Adalite needs to load the wallet data, so follow the prompts on the device. It will export the public key. The wallet data is loading. It needs the public key once more. And there you go. There are 25 ADA that we want to delegate to a stake pool. So again, click the staking tab. And we'll delegate to a stake pool by pasting the ID into this field. Open a new tab. Go to adaforprofit.com and scroll to the bottom. There you can copy the pool ID. That ID is also in the description section of the video. Navigate back to Adalite, paste the pool ID, and then you'll see the pool statistics and information will be imported. Note that there's a two ADA deposit plus a small transaction fee. So let's delegate the 25 ADA. Click Delegate, confirm the transaction, and again, Adalite will need information, so follow the prompts on the device. It gives you information such as the transaction fee, what epoch you're in, what slot, so continue to follow the prompts. Register the staking key, confirm the registration, verify the pool ID, Confirm the delegation. Confirm the transaction. The wallet is syncing. And now you see the wallet info is loaded. We started out with 25 ADA. Two are being held for staking deposit. And now there are 22.8.
ADA that we are delegating. That's it. You've now successfully delegated your ADA to a stake pool using the Ledger Nano X. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you learned something. If you did, please press the like button. Also subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Cardano, the world's next operating system. The future is ours.